Hello everyone, this is Sachin Shinge. Today we are going to discuss a very important uh, story. Okay, a very important story. The story of Peter Zeman, scientist Peter Zeman. Okay, this is very important story as far as research a student is concerned. Okay. So we need to understand what uh, what exactly happened. Okay, we need to understand the story behind the success of Peter Zeman. Okay. So Peter Zeman, scientist Peter Zeman, was a graduate student of a Camerling Owens. So this is Camerling Owens, Professor Camerling Owens. Okay, this is Professor Camerling Owens and uh, Sir Peter Zeman. So this is uh, Sir Peter Zeman. Okay, so Peter Zeman was a graduate student of Camerling Owens in the University of Leiden. Okay, University of Leiden. Okay, so Zeman was a Peter uh, Zeman was a graduate student. Of a Camerling Owens in the University of Leiden, Peter Zeman wanted to study if magnetic field had influence on the atomic spectral lines. Okay, an experiment that Michael Faraday had attempted and not seen any. Okay, Zeman wanted to study if the magnetic field had influence on the atomic spectral lines. An experiment that Michael Faraday had attempted and not seen any effect or there. Okay, so Zeman's uh, first initial attempts two did not show any effect, but he was keen to pursue his investigation. But he was keen to pursue his investigation. Okay, regarding this. Uh, splitting. Okay. So Zeman's initial attempt to did not show any effect, but he was keen to pursue his investigation, and Camerling Owens did not want. Okay, did not want to Zeman to waste his time looking effect that even Faraday could not see. So this is very important uh, point of uh, Camerling Owens. So he was discouraging him. Okay, Professor Camerling Owens discouraging him. Camerling Owens did not want Zeman to waste his time looking for the effect that even Faraday could not see. But Peter Zeman was adamant. He wanted to use stronger magnets in the Owens laboratory, Professor Owens laboratory. But he would, but he could not, but he would not give the permission. Okay, Professor Camerling Owens would not give the permission. Then Camerling Owens went to attend one of the conference. Okay, Camerling Owens went to attend a conference. Okay, so at the time, Zinn took this opportunity to use his stronger magnets and looked at the sodium spectral lines when placed in the magnetic field. So what exactly happens? He saw that uh, the spectral lines. Become a little broad, okay. After observation, he found that the spectral lines become a little broad in that uh, in that situation, okay. So first indication of what was to be known as a Zeeman effect. After seeing uh, spectral lines become a little broad, okay, he, that is called as a first indication what was to be known as a Zeeman effect. Okay, that is called as the Zeeman effect. So when Ohms returned after his conference, okay, when Ohms returned, returned after his conference, Zeeman was uh, very excited. Zeeman was uh, excited to tell him about his observation. Okay, what he has done. Okay, what he had done. Okay. Okay, Zeman was very excited to tell him about tell him about the story. Okay, Zeman was very excited to tell him about his observation. 
So question arises here. How did Ohm's react to Siemens observation? How did Ohm's react to Siemens observation? Was he happy for the Siemens finding? Was he happy for the Siemens finding? Did he congratulate him for continuing to work where Faraday had attempted and not succeeded and uh, not succeeded? Okay. Was he happy for the Siemens finding? Did he congratulate him to work where continuing to work where Faraday had uh, not succeeded? You see, far from it. Kamerling owns removed Siemens from his position and threw him out of the University of Leiden. Kamerling owns removed Zeman from his position and threw him out of the University of Leiden. You see. So fortunately, Zeman found himself another position in the University of Amsterdam. There he conclusively showed that the spectral lines of sodium vapor actually split into two. Okay. Splitting of spectral lines. Splitting of spectral lines in the presence of external magnetic field known as Zeeman effect. Okay. The effect which has been observed by the scientist Peter Zeeman was very interesting and he concluded okay in his paper in his research paper okay the research name of this research paper is uh, the effect of magnetization on the nature of light emitted by the substance okay Zeeman concluded in his paper by saying that I return my best thanks to professor Kamerling Owens for the interest he has shown in my work okay Peter Zeeman so the number of that particular research paper is 55 comma 347 1897 okay in that paper Zeman concluded and his and she said that I return my best thanks to professor Kamerling Owens in the inverse okay for the investigation or uh, <coughs> I return my best thanks to professor Kamerling Owens for the interest he has shown in my work Amsterdam okay Peter Zeman Amsterdam so Zeman was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1902 and in the recognition of research into the influence of magnetism upon the radiation phenomena. Zeman was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1902 in the recognition of research into the influence of magnetism upon the radiation phenomenon and then after 11 years then after 11 years Professor Kamerling owns who was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1913 for investigation of a matter at low temperature and the production of liquid helium you say so this is the story of Peter Zeeman okay Peter Zeeman was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1902 in the recognition of research into the influence of magnetism upon the radiation phenomenon so how interesting story it is. Thank you very much for watching the video.